Take us home. Yeah, no, 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 I'm just going to offer another thought. Well, firstly, congratulations for what sounds like already a technical leadership job that you described at the beginning of your question. Um, for me, and this will probably um, upset some of my educational colleagues, um, I think that um, leadership for me is not an educational thing. You know, it comes from within you. And actually the techniques and tools that you can use to be a better leader and a better manager, I think there's a lot to learn. But I think that just reflecting on how you are leading in your current job. So what is it about the environment that you're in that you can practice your leadership skills in? Because there's always something. Even if you don't have people working for you, there's all sorts of informal leadership groups that you can step into, whether it's even you know volunteering in the women in nuclear area or whatever. You can find lots of areas to practice your leadership. Um, and I would just encourage you to do that as well as the educational aspects of, of learning to be a better leader. Because for me, I have learned probably more in my day-to-day -day life. Maybe it's just I haven't done enough courses yet. But, you know, so, so I just urge you to have a go now and practice that leadership in real time. Great, thank you. Good answer. And so as we wrap up, a uh, few takeaways, authenticity, practicing the leadership in your everyday life, leading from your own heart, and, and taking time to be aware. With that, I want to thank our panelists very much, Gwen, Jorg, Alicia.